Hello, human. So I think I skipped around a little bit. Like, I just walked forward and I forgot to start recording. But other than that, it's fine. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's, of course, Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit. Coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Who is that? It's just me, so I can put that thing away. I, I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Well, I guess the deal's on. So pick up this bar, and this note tells you you need to get the uh, clock tower panels. There's one in the generator room and one in the clock tower, and you need it to put it in this thing, which will allow you to open up this, and pretty much all the other st stuff opens up to your little, little spoiler there, I guess. But, but there's a little paper, his key card, and a first aid in there. I'm going to run through I actually all I did was run through this way and I went there and I just forgot to start recording it at first okay wait just making sure so yeah I'm gonna kill this guy just because he always comes back to bite you in the leg later and it's just annoying Okay, there's a blue herb there. I'm gonna pick this up. It's just yellow gunpowder, which can be used to make more shotgun ammo. Kill these dogs in here. They, if you do not do it later, they become a, more of a problem. I think that's it. I don't think there's ones here. Nope. So this one has a red herb in it. I 
I don't really think there's anything else in any of these except for the key that is in the second one right here. I don't take my word for it, but I'm pretty sure. Now this guy, I'd say kill him. Like wait a few seconds till he starts trying to get up and then just blast away at him cuz if you do not, he'll try to he'll try to follow you into like the next area or something. Like when you go this way and you lift this up when you when you go all the way through this area and then come back, he like is coming at you pretty much. You can just take that for a little extra health. I don't think there's much else in here. You can get this gunpowder from our shells. The uh, boxes right here. This is the first electrical part because this is actually the generator room. Right. And actually, technically, if you examine it, it'll say power panel part. So... There's that. And then... I'm trying to think. You go this way. And here's the uh, generator, right? I think it's like that. Let me see. Yeah. Hold up. I'm trying to remember. There's one that you don't do. And I just can't remember what it really is. Okay, what? Is it the first one? Okay, so it's just the two on the right. You turn the two on the right on. I just could not remember it. Now, there's dogs. But if I didn't kill those ones in the cages, there would have been a heck of a lot more of them. Like, I think there would have been about twice as many as there's about to be, and it's just like a huge pain. Like, there's gonna be one right here. Got him. I think one jumps at me here in a second, but I usually just run past him. Cause you don't even need to come back there. One comes through here. I'm gonna run past him too. Go like this. Oh, come on. Oh no. Wait. I'm good. I'm good. All right, but sometimes you can just dodge that one, and and you'll be fine. I I'd say yeah. Kill this one because. He'll chase you all the way back through here, and then you'll go through here, and then you'll want to go back through there, and it just, like, he becomes an issue. But I go through here. There's actually a raccoon in here. I'm going to get it this time. I usually don't, but I'm going to get that, what I just picked up, and I'll show you why. Easy. All right. That's a film to that locker on the third floor, but that's just DCM. You don't need to worry about that. Oh, I forgot. Technically right here, it tells you about the Mr. Raccoons toys. So it's not about target practice. So if you just go in here, which I think I got it on a separate playthrough, but it would be right there on that red raccoon thing. Just right on top of that. There's shotgun shells right here, and other than that, there's really not much of a reason in that film and all that stuff I just got. If you look in here, there's a storage box. It's got a little key on it, right? Now... 
On hardcore, I do not get this. I just do not do it. And I might even, like, not use it this time around either. But I want to show you where it is. You go in here. Some dogs. Play a little target practice with these guys right now. This is why I hate that these dogs run around like that. But sometimes they stop like you just saw. Okay, if you come out here, you examine it, you flip it over, boom. Now it gives you a stock. Now here's the, now you can go to this thing here, put that right there, and watch this. You, it, okay, all it says is a custom part for the Matilda that allows it to fire three round bursts per, per pull of the trigger, right? You put it on, well, I'm trying to think. You equip it, and look, it makes you take two slots just for that. Like, just for a two-round burst or a three-round burst thing. Now, he kind of holds it, and you can see the stock right there. And then when he does it, it's like a, it's more like a rifle now than anything. The problem with this is, is if you're on hardcore, they do not give you that much space. And then, and then you end up just, I don't know, you just, like, I feel like it's kind of more an, of an annoyance than anything else because I usually just take my time shooting and I shoot one bullet at a time with this and I just don't feel like it's worth it. So actually I'm going to unequip or remove the part from it and that'll just, yeah, it'll just save me some trouble and I'm going to store it. But yeah, I'd say I don't usually use it if you want to use it because you just want the three-round burst or you feel like putting it back on later, that's fine. You know, it's whatever. Everyone has their own preference on how they want to play a game, right? But me, I just don't. I don't know. I just don't use it. Oops. I got the shotgun shells. Go in here. Turn on the light. You can store whatever you want to store in here. I usually put the power panel part away for now. Bring the diamond key with you. You're going to want that. I'm going to take this spare part out because I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to put the knife away and I'll show you why. Here in a bit. If you want to take some flash grenades out, I'd say do it now. Um, I'm going to need these boards because I'm going to board up some of these walls here in a bit. Other than that, you can pick up certain things in here. I think there's ammo, there. Uh, the thing for grenades, like if you have gunpowder, you get this here. There is a raccoon statue right there. Right. And then right here, you get the uh, part, which I'm going to have to store some of that stuff I just picked up just to get it. So, like, get rid of that stuff. I'm going to see if I have gunpowder. I don't. Now, so for now, I'm just going to store that. We bring, you're going to bring this with you. I'm going to save it just because it's been a while. Yeah, I had saves from a previous playthrough where I got like an S rank or an S plus. I can't remember. That's probably why I've got that infinite handgun, right? I don't know. But as you come through here, one of these windows... He attacks, just barricade it. I usually just barricade this one as well, I think. Um. Come on, kill switch. His hand was in the way for a while there. Son of a bitch. And they're making me take a lot of handgun ammo to... I don't know. Oh, come on. Wait, you just don't want to die? You zombie. That only sucks because it was like right in my back. And... You can't use your uh, certain things. If you get bit in the back, you can't use your like safety items type stuff. 
I'm gonna do it like this, just because I can see better then. Yep, you get a knife right there. Right. Now, you can skip past this guy if you know the trick, but I'm just going to shoot him and get rid of him. So I don't have to worry about him later. Now, there's all this ammo I passed up last time. I usually just go back and get it. I'm actually going to... You know what? I'll just leave it like that. So if you come through here, normally another zombie would come through there. It'd be a pain in the butt, right? But don't got to worry about it. I'm going to come in here, get that. Get this other gunpowder, too. And make more shotgun shells. I don't want to take it up more space. I think that's everything. Yep. And then I can pretty much just come back to the main hall area. Trying to remember a few things. So, it's a few things you can actually do here if you want to do it early, which I might just do it a little early so I don't have to worry. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, Marvin. Marvin. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> what is this? What are you doing, Marvin? You don't want to die like that. Hold up. Hold up. Stop it. Oh, whatever. At least he's at least sideways now a little bit. <laughs> it looks so weird the way he died. I'm like, what are you doing? Stop it, Marvin. So there's a linen room key up this way, right? Remember that liquor was that I kind of walked right past? Well, if you walk this way... And you just walk, since the door is literally right there, you won't have to deal with the liquor, and you can just come through here, use this right now, and you can discard the key. And now you don't have to carry that. And I think all it is is you get another power panel part, some more gunpowder, which I believe I have yellow gunpowder in my box, which I can use to make even more shotgun shells. I might pull out more of these, like, more of my handgun ammo. I had some stored away or something. Huh. Aw. Oh. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. So now that I have both those parts, if you go back to the... like where the... Web lock, where you got the shotgun at and the weapons locker area, you can put both of those in. You can get another hip pouch, some more shotgun shells, and other stuff like that. I think I'm going to pull out some more hand, of my handgun ammo and see about making some shotgun shells real quick. Let's pull that out. Put it there. Why not? Pull out this. And there we go. I might pull out one of these herbs just in case. And you can just run right through here. Like this. Oh, also, there's going to be liquors. So just walk. Right there. And now you should be fine. Now, if you remember, there's a bunch of codes on each side, which I'm getting kind of lucky there. I can't remember what it was. There's one that's 102. And 103.
Those ones I actually knew because I looked at them earlier. You get more gunpowder, a knife, and then I think on the other side there's the shotgun shells, right? So now I got a full cartridge of just shotgun shells, and here's your extra two slots, which if you're doing a speed run on normal, I'd say don't even bother getting, but on hardcore, I always get it because it's useful and need the inventory storage. Okay. Now, at this point, you can literally just... Oh, he saw me. Run through the door. Normally, I try to walk past back through that, but we should be fine. So, at this point, if I didn't do all that, you could have just went up this way. And when you go down here, there's a bar handle, right? You use that bar hander, handle right here. And I think this is the last use of the bar handle. Yep. Now there's a raccoon right here. It's very obvious. This one, I don't think you can even really miss unless you're like blind or something. And this room right here is for Claire. The heart key rooms are all for Claire. Something to remember. You can go down here first, but I always go up this way first. And I'm going to tell you why. If you go this way after you deal with certain things and you get a club key, well, there's a club key door down the stairs down there anyways. So you might as well just save that club key or get the club key first and then come down there and then go down there and do that stuff. Because other than that, there's really no point to go down there. I mean, there just isn't. Now, a few things. There's this blue herb. There's this, which you're going to need. It's a gear for the clock tower. Now, there's a few tricks here, if I remember correctly. You can go this way. And I think... You can see that zombie just, like, right there. Shotgun shells. Right. Here's another door, which is a raccoon in there when you're clear. See, and that would be the east storage room. Third floor. It's right here. It, there's the raccoon. Other than that, there's really nothing here. This door over here is locked. And then you go back this way. If you go through here, I think there's another blue orb. Weird thing is, you don't really need to get the blue orbs, but I do at this point. I'd say having a couple can help in case you like make a mistake. If you make a mistake and you get poisoned later in the sewer area, that's probably the only reason you really need them. Other than that, I just don't worry about it, you know. I don't really feel the need to have a blue orb. Well, it's not that many. There's handgun ammo over here. I usually come back and get that on the way back if you're on a speed run. But beyond that, it's not really a big deal. I'm going to try to use my shotgun shells here, but there's health back here. Which, you can just combine with this stuff. Really? And then when you come back here, you saw the heli or helicopter that crashed there? Oh, as soon as you pull this, that turns the water to a different position on the pipes, which will help you take out the fire. And I'm just gonna take care of these freaking zombies. Well, I'm surprised her head didn't explode, but okay. I'm gonna make sure. No mistakes. <laughs> no errors in judgment. She must die. Alright. 
So here's the club key. I need a little more space though. I'm just gonna store all this. Like anything extra that I feel for now I don't need. Uh, keep the little health. Store this knife. Keep the board and I'll show you why. And then just go over here, get the club key. I'm gonna save it. That's everything back here, right? So if you just go this way, now that I pulled that lever, the moment, oh, that looks shiny. The moment you pull this lever here, it'll put out the fire. This happens pretty much every time, whether you're Leon or Claire, the moment you put out that fire, Jesus Mr. X shows up, and you're just gonna wanna go back here. You can do a couple things. You can kinda just run around him completely, but sometimes I try to get him to punch so that he kinda slows down a little bit, and I'll try to escape from him altogether. Try to lose him if you can. But I just, I just run, Grab this, why not? Come back down here. And where you did the, you know the staircase I was telling you about when you got the club key? Just go down that way. I think he lost me, that's why you stopped hearing him. Now since I have that board that you picked up, you just keep it on you, you come down here, you board this up and this zombie will not get through there. There's a heart key because Claire has to come through this way too. Get a little gunpowder. Unlock the store. There's only one other use for that key, uh, club key, and I'll show you what it is later. Uh, here's to that one waiting room, the code 6211. Here's the box that you need the ruby for. Handgun ammo. And I think that's pretty much everything back here, right? Now, there's a little trick to this. Because at this point, Mr. X is like going to follow you around like everywhere. You can just do that, save a little space, I'd say. Now, if you come back through this way, sometimes he breaks through this wall. Let's see if he does. It can actually help you if he does it, believe it or not. He does not always do it, though. I have three flash grenades, so I can just do this. Sometimes if you flash him, he'll try to punch. I'll just do that and I'll run. Now just go through, back to the main hall, right? Now I'm trying to think. Basically you come back through here, you can go to the star's office first and then go to the records room, or you can try to do it the way that I'm probably gonna do it, which is run downstairs first. Get through this box. He'll see you. Which you don't need to worry about. If he sees you right now, don't worry. Whoops. Put that knife back. Put this there. You get the uh, badge. I think that's really all I need. Right now. Now, just look at the back of the badge press the X button and it's now it's a USB dongle <laughs> key thing right go this way he will follow you back this way no matter what also walk because of this right it takes Mr. X a while to get to you this zombie would have came through if I didn't do that you come back here 
use this key and now you do not need this key anymore. You can just get rid of it. Pick up the gunpowder. Run. Just do whatever you need to do in here. This is the jack you need and there's a grenade. There's not a grenade there on hardcore, I think. Now I'd say you can do a couple things here. Mr. X will show up there no matter what. Yeah, I'm just gonna run through here. There's probably gonna be zombies maybe from when I didn't kill everything. Just run past anything and everything that you feel you don't need to deal with. There's a looker there. Walk momentarily is what I'm going to do. I might need to run here. Yep, I got hit. It's fine. Not a big... Okay, it wouldn't have been a big deal if he did not hit me twice. Or Well, he ran out in front of me. That liquor, he ran right out in front of me. So it made it hard. Now, I'm going to run this way. See, that one zombie there just doesn't do anything. It doesn't seem like. Let's so run. I got the USB dongle. So go this way. Walk. Because that liquor is probably still around here. Yep, there he is. He can, now Mr. X cannot come into this star's office, by the way. Go here, put the dongle in. Go to this computer, and you can activate the dongle. It will open that door there. Now I'm going to try to get the upgrade for the, the Magnum, Lightning Hawk. So just turn it back into a badge. Get the Magnum. Right. And this just talks about, um, it's like Chris leaving a note for Jill. And later Claire mentions that like, oh, he doesn't really sound like Chris. Which I guess it really doesn't. But, you know, have I kept this stock this whole time? That's kind of funny. All right. I'm going to put that they're like kind of reorganize it now each of these weapons for now are only taking one slot but eventually some of these will take two like i think the lightning hawk takes two and so does the shotgun and then i just keep the handgun taking up one slot all the time i don't like when it takes up more it just bothers me um whoops i'm going to say like at this point you got everything you're really going to need what you're going to want to do is try to make it to the library without Mr. X catching you. Um, I'm going to end this video here and start the next one up now. Um, but yeah, that's my advice. The one thing is you want to try to make sure that the Mr. X does not follow you into the library or else it gets harder to use the jack and then try to move all that stuff. Luckily, even if he kind of does, since I moved all that stuff previously beforehand a little bit, it will... I will be able to do it faster, even if he does, and then I can work my way around him. But other than that, let's end this here. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe.